Okay, let's continue improving this text editor. So, one of the first things I want to address is that here, when I open the files in the previous video, like what you should really do, and you should get used to this, is to <laughs> closing it. Um, because otherwise the files are gonna be left in memory and you want to make sure that you free that from the memory uh, the next time. This was uh, brought to my attention by a viewer, so thank you. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's continue improving our editor. So one thing that bugged me a little bit is that I made these two buttons here as an example, but in a regular program, you don't have them laid out as this, you know, like one next to the other. So what we want is something like this, a menu with the buttons and the actions that we have for the program. So let's do that. First thing, I'm going to make a little bit more room. I'm going to leave this here. And let's add the node, which is inside control, base buttons, buttons, menu button. I hate it. It's, it's always so hidden. But yeah, here you have them. A special button that brings us a pop-up menu when clicked. Exactly that, if we want. Okay, so here we have our menu and let's gonna make some room for it and call it file, which is, you know, usual file functions. I want it to be left justified like that. Yeah, that should be cool. And now I want to add those options inside the file as well as an extra one, like, I don't know, maybe quit, something like that. The problem is that from here, from the inspector, you cannot create the items inside there and you have to do everything by code. This is something that it's kind of weird, but let's just go to do that. On the ready function, which is when the program starts, we can add these uh, new options for the menu button. Since we are going to have different ones, let's call this one uh, menu button file so we know which one we're talking about for the future because we want to have more so let's try this out and see how it looks okay we have here the file and when we press on it it's empty so yeah how do you add them at the beginning i tried to move it items inside this node but there's no way to add them as i told you before menu button file that now you need to access the pop-up, which is empty at this moment. And now we can add an item. Add item. And let's call this open file. Okay, let's see how this looks. Here, yeah, here we have it. Problem is that when I press on it, it is not triggering the right option, it's doing nothing, but that's okay. We can keep adding more items now. We can go ahead, copy paste and modify with save as, and maybe we can add the quit option for later. Yeah, so let's try it out. I like to try things all the time. So yeah, it is already there as we wanted. Now, when you add these items, they have some signals that they emit, but you need to connect those signals to a function like we did before. So let's create those links and let's get the menu button file. We get the pop-up and now we have to connect the ID press, which is when you press on one of the options, we connect it to this script. And now we call the name of a function that we want to call on that instance. So we're going to create a new, which is, um, I don't know, let's go on item pressed. Yeah. So now every time we click on one of these, 
it's going to call this function on this file, the one that we are in. Let's create that function on item pressed. And again, this is something I really like when I'm learning something. I write everything with prints just to test it out. Like, is it working? It is not just my way of doing things. Let's see. It is not working. Why not? Error calling ID press on item press. Zero act terms, but it was called with one. Okay. That means that it needs an argument here. That's why I always test things. Of course, this is kind of like rehearsed, but I really want to encourage you to try things because if you start coding for a while and you haven't tested it, you will find some errors and you know sometimes you don't really know where they are coming from. So what you get here is an ID from an item. And to get the name of that, we're gonna create a variable with the item name and we're gonna have to get again to that menu button file and the pop-up and now get item text and now we can set the id for that this will get us this value uh, let's try it out here hello oh yeah let's do uh, item name and now we're gonna be pressed just to make sure that they are working let's see file open file yes open file pressed save file yes quit quit pressed okay yeah so all this is working from now we can start using the this value you know like the string value linked to the functions that we already had it's not ideal to use the string names because if you want to translate your program in the future you might encounter a problem in there but for now i think we should be fine so if item name is equal to open file we can call the on open file pressed which is this one or we can even just go ahead and get rid of that function altogether since we're not going to be needing that let's say goodbye to it now elif item name is equal to save as file and let's get this and we get the pop-up for that i don't want to print anything here let's gonna just going to Go ahead and remove that function it's gonna save it and now i'm gonna remove those two buttons from here because i don't want you anymore goodbye thank you for your service and let's try it out let's see if we can actually get the dialogues open file yeah we get it we open our text file and it is working seven eight nine let's save it same name replace okay See, I'm gonna remove everything and it's gonna open it again. Yeah, it is working. Okay, let's go. Then we can do the quit function as well now. Elif item name is equal to quit. We're gonna get the tree. This function gets like the special, well, the tree node. You can search for it on the documentation, but. Yeah, if you ever need to search anything, you can search help over here. And yeah, get tree is gonna tell you like what it does. Return still scene tree, you can go and click things around here. But yeah, let's continue with this. Can I quit from there? Let's see if it's working. Yes. Okay. So now that we have all this, what can we do next? Um, I was thinking of making now the text area much wider because you know like we have the room now for it and let's create a separate another like menu like this one but for 
I don't know, an about, you know, here, like you have here the about thing. Let's just create a dialogue like that. And we're going to learn about other kinds of dialogues. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one and minute button help. Whoop. Here we have it. Let's say help. And one thing I really like, and this was not in the previous versions of the engine, but you have this switch on hover and you should always like keep it on. That's going to be, you know, like when you are with one menu open and you hover on the other ones that they open as well. Otherwise you will have to click on each of them. Let's see. Yeah, it works like this. Perfect. Yeah. So let's go ahead here and let's gonna add the about to the other menu and we should see it there. Yeah, here we have the about and let's link the same function to this other menu. I don't like you can create a separate one and it's probably better. But since this is a super simple example, let's go ahead and do it quick. Uh, let's create the about dialog. Let's just create, uh, let's see how many things, confirmation, file, bubble panel. No, just a window dialog. Yeah. Let's see it. Here it is. And about let's add some text inside of this let's see label yeah hello and welcome to our little program made with godot yeah this is the uh, about let's see auto wrap this will try to break the words to fit into your rect. So we're going to have this in the middle and yeah, we can also like add bot buttons here to do anything you want to. Let's call this the about dialogue. And okay. Remember with all the pop-ups, the same as with the file dialogues and things like that, like they are not visible by default. So you will need to call them. Let's do that from here. Else if item name is equal to about, let's get the about dialog and pop up. Okay, let's try this. Let's see about, oh no, it's not working. Okay, and the reason why it's not working is because I'm getting the name of the pop-up from the file instead of the help one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate function for the help, which is what I should have created at the beginning and get it from there. Item help pressed. And now I can get the correct name from the correct uh, menu button. So item name from menu button help get pop-up get item text and now if item name is equal to about then we go and get the about dialog and we pop up that one. So now we want to get this function called instead of the other one. And let's see, is everything as it should be? Let's see. Help about. And we get the about. So this is it for now. I think this is starting to look more like a program, which is good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the likes, retweets and everything. And like the reception of the first part was very good. Um, I hope to keep delivering on your requests. 
If you have any suggestion or I did something terribly wrong, you can leave me a comment here on Reddit or YouTube or whatever you are watching this video. And thanks again. Bye.